Hi, Pete Sava here in Ecuador, South America. I manage a farm in a mountainous area on the western slopes of the Andes, a thousand meters above sea level, in a subtropical climate. Since 1996, I run a business in ecological restoration in which vetiver grass plays a very important role. For many decades now, the International Vetiver Network has been promoting in tropical and subtropical areas has been promoting the vetiver grass system which is essential in land restoration and the regeneration of soil in your farm. Now vetiver has been helping me in reorganizing, restructuring and healing my farm from a eroded, depleted property in 1991 into a lush biodiverse food forest today. With this video I want to explain you in two steps how you can achieve stability and abundance in your farm. Where do we start? When we manage a farm, when we want to design a farm or have activities in a farm, it's always, especially in sloping land, it's always in function of the water flow. What does that mean, the water flow? When it rains on a slope without any vegetative cover or with very sparse vegetation on it, the rainwater picks up speed and energy as it flows down, dragging down the soil particles and creating soil erosion. That's to say, your fertile soil, little by little, disappears with the rain. So, as a priority, we should avoid this runoff and this loss of topsoil. How can we do this? By setting up barriers on the slope in horizontal lines, on the contour line. And this is the first step, setting out the contour line on the slope. We can do this by building stone walls, as the Incas did in ancient times in South America, or as the Konso people in East Africa and the Nepalese farmers still do today. But building stone walls is a very labor and energy intensive work. And maybe there's no stones around where you live. So there may be a better option, and there is one. We can set up barriers with vegetation, what we call living barriers. But there's an inconvenience with trees. No matter how close you will plant them, you will never plant them closer than 70 or 80 centimeters apart. So there's still a gap where the runoff of silt and water can go through. There's a better solution, the best solution, zero erosion with vetiver grass. Vetiver grass can be planted very close to each other and forms a very tough barrier in a very short time. And here we have the second step is plant vetiver on the contour line. But some of you may not be familiar with the concept of contour lines. I'll explain it. A contour line connects all the points at the same level, at the same altitude on a slope. So actually we're setting out a horizontal line on the slope, not one horizontal line, but consecutive lines on the slope. How can we do this? We can do it with expensive material, expensive topographical material, or we can do it with a simple A-frame. An A-frame that you can construct to yourself. I'll not elaborate here on the construction and the use of A-frames, because you can find all the information in the internet. The horizontal line we set out does not look like a horizontal line you draw on a paper because the contour line dips into a gully, turns round at the back of the gully, comes out of the gully, turns round an outcrop in the field. In brief, it meanders through the landscape but always at the same level. And this is how it looks on a topographical map. And why is it so important that this contour line is horizontal? that the barriers stand on a horizontal line. As said, we don't want the water to run off the hill. The barrier has to force the water to seep into the ground and the silt to stay behind the barrier. If there would be an inclination, the water would be running one way or the other. And that's not the intention. And guess what? Vetiver does the job. Zero erosion. The silt stays behind the barrier and the water seeps into the ground. And over time, these barriers will evolve into an undulating terraced landscape. It is amazing that a simple grass planted in this barrier system does such a great job. 
every farmer in the tropics and the subtropics should learn about it and apply the system in his farm. Now what makes vetiver so special and so different from other grasses? Vetiver is a perennial, upright, deep-rooted grass. It is stiff and impenetrable above the ground and it is not, and this is very important, it is not, it is never invasive because it does not produce viable seeds. Vetiver is reproduced by slips cut off from the mother plant. And here comes a bonus. Vetiver is not only excellent for barrier construction, it also produces a huge amount of biomass, which can be used as mulch around the fruit trees or in your vegetable garden. But I have to remind you that vetiver grass by itself is not the magic solution. It's merely a tool. However, the vetiver grass system is a very powerful tool, one of the many tools applied in permaculture and agroecology, a tool that transforms and enriches your farm and the soil and creates resilience in these times of climate change. After many years of experience, I can guarantee you that it works. Go ahead with it, step by step. Good luck.